Happy Easter, everyone. It is Easter day for us. And yes, he has risen indeed. Yes, indeed. You guys, we are going to Chalice and David's for a huge 19 people. Dave's side of the family has a very large family and they're all here in Arizona, which is very nice for them. We are going there for a ham dinner and I am making broccoli, loaded broccoli casserole, which I will share with everyone how I make it today. So you guys, come on, let's get this day started. Good morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. It is Easter today. Do you guys celebrate Easter? Do you celebrate as a family? What do you eat? You know, all of the meals like Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, there are certain things that we have to have to eat in order to make it special for us. It seems like Easter, at least in our family circle, is ham. And that is something that, you guys, Harry loves ham. And I very rarely cook it because I was hospitalized with food poisoning from ham. Yes, I was. I can eat it now, but we're talking 35 years ago yep. that happened. And I... A little. I made you a sandwich. It made me a sandwich. And Chalice goes, after I ate it, she goes, can I have one too? And I said, sure. She goes, mom, is ham supposed to have green spots all over it? <laughs> and she brought the ham to me because it's a big, long story. She brought it to me and I looked in the package and it had mold all over it. And within four hours, I got deathly ill. Now, the paramedics came twice to our house that day because Harry had oral surgery. I had just brought him home from having his impacted wisdom teeth removed. And he had a heart issue and I had to call 911. And well, after he was done and they were doing everything they needed to do with him and I was getting him settled, I asked the girls, Felicia, to go make me a ham sandwich because I was starving because we had to get up super early. I didn't want to eat in front of Harry. He was, you know, no food or water and all the good stuff. So she made me a ham sandwich and I ate it without looking or thinking, right? Within four hours, I was deathly ill. We called the paramedics again. I was sent to the emergency hospital. We spent 12 hours before they admitted me in the same, you know, in the, in the, in the I know what I was Harry there. was dying. We called my mom and dad to go pick up the kids. Harry was sitting on the doctor chair, drawing pictures on the, um, and the paper towels, he had a stack of paper towels going. Every time I moved, I had, it was everywhere. I had IVs in me. He was dying. It was a horrible experience. Sorry, TMI. Anyway, I don't really eat ham, but I'll eat everything else. I'll eat the deviled eggs. I'll have some of the, um, my broccoli casserole, which I absolutely love. I'll eat love. your piece. Thank you, dear. But I am going to have some eggs and some hamburger first before I go. That way I'm going to feel full and I may not want to eat anything. And I'm going to have my four ounces of my yogurt that I made. Yes, I am. So anyway, you guys, I will share um, what we're going to have to break our fast. Um, we've changed and gotten casual so we can go over to Chalice's house and I'm going to make us some food. And yes, how do I know the egg was rotten? Because it was rotten. It came out in funky hunk pieces, didn't it, Harry? Yeah, the it yolk was, was bad. ugly, mucus I tried to, get, I tried to zoom in on it, it and I did the edit, but it didn't do it, it justice at all. Because I grabbed it so fast, I didn't want to. It was ugly. It was nasty. I don't want to tell you what it looked like. Yes, and a lot of you said, you know, break them into a bowl first. And I agree, except that's the first one I've had in like 30 years experience. Anyway, I've got some leftover ground hamburger. I'm gonna measure it out. I'm gonna nuke it. Harry wants eggs with his and so do I. I'm having a full breakfast, you guys. And then I'm gonna measure out four ounces of my yogurt. And that's what I'm having, four ounces of my yogurt for seven days with my hamburger and my eggs, basically. And it's, I still consider it phase one, or uh, Dr. West, 
following Dr. Westman's protocol, he said you can have yogurt, you can have some chocolate, he drinks wine, you can have wine. He showed a whole bunch of stuff. Anyway, what I'm doing is I'm doing a yogurt, ground beef, egg, no sweetener, no nothing starting Monday. And I'm gonna do that for seven days. And I'm gonna weigh in tomorrow too because I am gonna have my broccoli casserole and it's loaded and you'll see what I'm talking about. So we'll see if I have weight gain or not. And you guys, let's get this day started. Go. I got the hamburger divided. Putting salt on it. I'm only using Redmond's Real Salt. I'm basically doing an elimination diet. I'm gonna put this in. Shield of protection. I'm gonna heat this for Harry. This is Harry's. Um, and then I'm gonna get some eggs. Get some butter for the pan. About a tablespoon. Heat that. Oh, yeah. Tell me what your favorite dish is that you guys have to have in order to make it, you know, a real family tradition. Is it ham? Is it prime rib? See, if I were having Easter, it'd be prime rib. I could carry a ham too, but um, deviled eggs are always a must. Um, prime rib. I would have a charcuterie board, um, probably a green salad, and probably my broccoli casserole. I love it. Super easy to make. You can add stuff to it. Ow, ow, ow. Man, that's hot. Let me get two cozies. I gotta put this thing in. The cozy. Whew. Man, that's hot. There. Put mine in. Pardon me. What's that? Mm. Let me get my butter a little bit brown because I love browned butter. Why are you standing right where I need to be, Shinsky? Well, I can always look at the back of your head, I guess. Well, at least it's clean and the hair is halfway decent. At least it still should be. Yes, no, maybe so. Yeah, sure. Okay, good. You're good to go. So we're all looking for a new rotten egg. I know. I am too. I'm kind of watching as I'm pouring it. Well, these were, I've never had an issue with the organic for some reason. Okay, Harry. Come back when the eggs are done. Can you open up the cupboard for me? I got a whole bunch of eggs. What are you I'm, doing? I'm watching my eggs. I'm getting my broccoli ready to go. Got to cook the, steam the broccoli. I gotta get these out. Perfect. Excuse me, Marty. <coughs> Dear. Excuse me. Where's Sally's pan? Can you reach behind you and get Sally's dish? Butter is better.
Let me get my broccoli in to boil. Got, I'm gonna do two bags of broccoli. Not gonna be enough. Well, I'm gonna look at it. What happened last time? What happened last time? You may take it all. Everybody eats it before yeah. you get there. You gotta get first in line. It's so funny, his family is so funny. They're very picky, but it seems like the p people say they don't want something and then everybody eats what I bring, so I don't know. So I'm just gonna put that in. Put a little bit of salt on there. Put a little bit of water, excuse me. I'll just use this clean water from the teapot. And I'm gonna steam it while we eat. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm a short order cook, can't you tell? Yeah, that's why I want you to do everything singular. I don't have time. I don't have time, I gotta get it all done at once. Okay, this is Kirkland brand and you guys get a ton of broccoli. So now I've got two more bags in there. I'm gonna put this in here. Get some hamburger out for tomorrow. Hamburger for tomorrow. I think I'll cook. I like smashing it like this then because then you guys can stack them. Get enough hamburger if we're both gonna be eating hamburger. I always put, is there a cookie sheet over there? Nope. I always like to put mine on a cookie sheet so that if there's any liquids that drain off, they're on the pan and not anywhere else. Excuse me. Give you some salt. And butter. Because butter's better. Butter. But, oh, put a little bit more. This one's yours. About two tablespoons. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. There we go. There you have it. Beef and egg and butter bowls. Yes, indeed. And then I am making broccoli, loaded broccoli casserole, which I'll share after we eat. So come back in the next segment. Now it's time for the cheese. Yes. What kind of cheese is this? Can you guess? It's Colby Jack. Good for you. Oops. I'm going to turn these inside out because uh, they will hold the cheese better. Shape. This thing is great. Yes, I hurt my hand, look. How did you hurt your hand? Oh, that's right. Yeah. I thought you were yesterday. talking about today. Yesterday. You hurt your hand. Yep. I know it looks kind of gross, but you know, it's uh, the way it goes. Sally's down here wanting some cheese, please. And you're working on stuff. Harry. What? Only a man would throw food on the floor for their dog like that. For crying out loud, I just... that way. But my floor and my carpet don't appreciate it. Oh, okay. oh Marty. Yeah, stop throwing food. What can I say? She has a puppy dish. Okay, here you go. There's your cheese. Woo! four tablespoons of butter when it was hot so come on over here or that's a quarter of a cup so the butter's in there 
And I'm gonna put about a cup of sour cream. This is uh, 1.5 pounds. I don't really measure it so much because for one thing, if I were gonna be eating it by myself, I would, right? That's about a cup, I'm saying. But because I'm making this for non-keto people and they're not measuring, uh, I'm not worried about it. This is probably about a half a ta teaspoon of garlic left in the container. So I'm just going to put this on. I like garlic in mine. You don't have to have garlic if you don't like it. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of onion in mine. I like that little bit of onion because I'm making a loaded um, broccoli. I'm also going to add some chives. This is fresh dried chives. You can add um, fresh chives or no chives. It's up to you. But when I get my, when I used to get my potato, so that's about a tablespoon of fresh chives. It's like the star there. of my new movie. What? Chives tarragon. Chives tarragon. You always say that yes. when we're doing this. Chives tarragon. Secret agent. I'm looking for a cup. I'm just gonna measure the bacon. Oh. I've got a cup for bacon. And I just buy the bacon crumbles. You can use a whole bacon, you can do it, but that's about a cup of bacon. And we'll look at it at the end to see if it needs more or less. First, I'm going to stir this all around. Now, are we allowed to eat this or not? Because yes, it's this got is absolute... sour cream in it and everything. Well, okay, so let's, let, let me stress this. If you are BBBE, no, you cannot. If you are um, doing regular keto or you're doing um, Dr. Eric Westman's pages of any kind, yes, you can have this. Now, today, are you having, are you treating yourself today? Is I don't this know. gonna be a one off day? We'll have to wait until I get there to see. Right now, I'm saying no, but I'm weak. <laughs> you know, I try to try to stay on the straight line as possible, but. Well, Sometimes I run into a bend. How many of you are purposefully going off of your protocol but staying keto? How many of you are um, going off totally today and then getting back on your ketogenic lifestyle? Let me know down in the description below. Probably the only thing I would try is that. Well, you can have this. If you know, if if I was to stray, but that's you can have the eggs, even though they have a little bit of mayonnaise in them. You know, the hard boiled yeah, eggs. I don't know about that. You can have um, now. This looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna put. This was a pound of cheese that Harry did. It's Colby Jack. I'm gonna put about a handful in here. I can actually measure it for everybody. About a cup. Let's put a cup in. But I like layering mine, so I'm going to put a little bit of cheese throughout this so that each one gets a little coating on it, but then I like to layer it, so I'll share. Like again, people love lots of cheese. I sprayed my casserole dish with organic extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to put that away. Now I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to put a layer across the bottom. One thing I noticed the kids love to do at Chalice's parties is they love to scrape off the toppings off my yeah, casseroles. Yeah, they do. One guy came along, I made, um, I make um, sweet potato casserole, and he takes the whole mushroom topping, with, I mean the whole marshmallow caramel pecan topping and just puts that on his plate. It's like, what are you doing? And a kid, I call him a kid, he's 30 something. So what mm, I do is that's, this. That's not good. No, it's not. He looked at me like, what? Okay, so now. All about me. I put a layer down, now I put some cheese on here, right? That mm -hmm. way you get two layers worth of cheese going. Probably another cup. This is very uh, cheese centric, sorry folks. It just is. It's like lasagna, only it's broccoli. I know that if I eat this, I'm gonna go into a stall or I'm gonna gain. Well, we'll I weigh in. I know that, I know that already. We'll weigh in tomorrow and see. You know, so we'll see. 
Because what was I this morning? I don't know. 181, I thought you yeah, said. Yeah, 181. Four, I think it was. It was a little bit less than you were the day before. Yeah, right. Men have it so easy. Oh, yes, wise. we do. You guys lose so much better than women because you don't have the hormonal thing going on as much. Oh, I thought it had to do with, you know, because guys can stand up when they go to the bathroom. I thought that's what you're oh. <laughs> Why men have it so easy. Yeah. And you do have it easy that way, too. Uh, We're not going to get into that. Waterworks. Excuse me. Here you go. I'm going to put cheese. Look, I layered this. Let me give her some cheese. Oh, she says cheese, please, mama. Oh, man, that's a lot of cheese. Yeah. Your mama did. I got to wash Mama kind of overdid the cheese. Mama did. Mama's got to wash her hands. Mm hmm Pretty good stuff, huh? Oh, man. So I put a layer, uh, two layers. I'm going to put another cup of cheese on top. So it's got about three cups of cheese, you guys, in here. Lots of cheese. Lots of cheese. I'm going to put more than that. I washed my hands. Don't oh, worry. Yeah. What I could do is just measure it and see how much is left, but you guys can measure it when you're making it for yourself, when you're making it for your people or however you want to do it so that you can get your macros or not. It's up to you. Now, I do want to put a little bit of bacon crumbs on top. Just a little bit of bacon crumbles across the top. Just to give it that bacony look. Get these crisped, you know. Then I'm going to put a little bit of chives on top of that, just a sprinkle, just to give it a little bit flavor on top. There we go. Putting it in a 375 degree oven. But you guys, look at that broccoli cheese loaded. Broccoli cheese casserole. It's loaded with sour cream, butter, bacon, chives, and of course, broccoli. It's delicious, and it's going in the oven for about 30 minutes or until it's all bubbly and delicious. So, 375, you guys. There we go. Come back when my casserole is done. Okay, Harry, can you bring out the casserole? Sure can. Mmm, it's sizzling. Ooh. That'd be hot. Totsy totsy. Ooh, looky there, looky there. Isn't that beautiful? Guys, that's two layers of cheese. And that's the sour cream, cheese, bacon, and broccoli with a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, some salt, and a little sprinkling of chives on top. So you guys, that's my rendition of a loaded broccoli casserole. Yes, indeed. We're going to go ahead and close out. If we can take any outtakes from our dinner at Chalice's, we will and we'll insert them. But you guys, for now, we're going to go ahead and say goodbye. Hope you guys are having a blessed day today. Wonderful time with friends and family. 
um, and have a wonderful Easter. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up. That helps our channel grow. Yes, it does. We'll see you right here tomorrow. It's hard and heavy for me Monday because it's going to be ground beef, eggs, butter, and yogurt. Yes, indeed. Sally wants to say good night. Say good night. You gonna say good night, Sal? I think y'all did. I think she did. She's not even paying attention to you. Mm -hmm. That's normal. She's, she says no. Mom's got my carnivore dog. Yes, indeed. Mm hmm. She loves this stuff. Yo, come on. Oh, you're cheating. She says that's not big enough for me to run away with. Okay, here's a big piece. Don't don't choke on it. Go on. Say good night. <laughs>